What a day of Premier League football we have in store today. The title race goes to the final day. The relegation scrap goes to the final day. It's just mad. That's all you can ask for from a Premier League season. Obviously, we've got Man City away, so it's so nice to, well, yes, realistically, we're not going to get anything today, but it's, it's nice to have the potential of causing an upset today. I don't like Liverpool. I don't really like Man City either, so I'm not really that fussed about who wins, but I'd rather it be Liverpool just because we can have a say at it at the Etihad. And if we cause an upset today, it will be absolutely incredible. Not that I expect us to. Look, it looks like we're going to finish 14th, which is a whole different story. That's terrible in itself. But it's a free hit for us today. 100% a free hit. All the pressure's on Manchester City. If we can hold it out, stop them scoring for after half time, we could potentially cause them a little bit of nerves. But realistically, it's going to be so, so, so tough today. There's a whole relegation storyline going on today with Leeds and Burnley. We'll ask the lads about that later. Who do they think is going to go down? It's just such an interesting interesting day for the Premier League. The whole Gerrard storyline as well, Coutinho, Ing, so many Liverpool links in our side as well. It's just mad. But just before we get onto the coach and head up to Manchester, here's a quick message from the video sponsors. Yes, this video is indeed sponsored by the wonderful people over at Surfshark VPN. Surfshark is a virtual private network that keeps you safe while you're online, protects your passwords, stops people seeing what you're doing when you're using public Wi-Fi, for example, just keeps you safe. As well as that, it actually allows you to change the location of your device to anywhere across the world. So for you Villa fans that are abroad watching this and you don't have access to BBC iPlayer, which means you can't watch matches of the day, Surfshark would be absolutely perfect for you. You can change your location back to the UK and easy as you like. Your device thinks you're there and you can watch match of the day, no problems at all. For you guys watching that are in the UK, Surfshark is fantastic as well. You can change your location to anywhere in the world, which allows you to watch so many more things on Netflix. It also makes it so much easier to watch sports streams. So in the summer, if you're on holiday and you're not able to watch the Villa pre-season games, for example, easily switch yourself back to the UK and bosh, easy as you like watching those Villa pre-season games. And I know the Premier League is coming to an end, but there's also still loads of games going on. Play Playoffs, Champions League, whatever, you can change your location to America and use websites such as Peacock to watch those Premier League games that aren't streamed here in the UK for just a fiver. Surfshark is genuinely a really good product. I wouldn't promote it on the channel if I didn't use it myself, if I didn't believe in it. So definitely go and check it out. You can use my code Villa on Tour to get 83% off plus an extra three months free. Top link in the description. It helps me out. It helps the channel out. Please support the channel. Use my link in the description and have fun. Also, just before we head out onto the coach, a uh, big shout out to the Max on Tour channel, my second channel, the basically ground hopping channel. We went to Wembley yesterday for Sunderland versus Wickham. Go and check that video out. Loads of neutral content over there. Go and drop it a subscribe as well. Yeah, we, we, I take it you're not confident, Mr. Negative. <laughs> We'll give it, we'll look interested for 10 minutes and then I'll get, once I get one, I'll get three or four. Let's just make them sweat. Make them a bit nervy. Simon, last day of the season, you've been to all but one Premier League game. It all comes down to today. We've got nothing to play for. You're not confident, are you? No, I think I was saying to you, like, if, we, if we're going to do something today, we need to be at like 100%, 110%. Plus, yeah. And like Man City needs to be having an off day. And so, I mean, look, then, last day of the season and it's like, Free hit. Anything can happen. Yeah. Like, it's a free hit. Anything can happen. But I don't see. By the law of averages, I don't see it happening today. I'd love to be wrong. Yeah. Um, but just make them sweat a bit. There's a big blow up European Cup on the bus. Come on. <laughs> You'll never see that. Champions of Europe. We have arrived. Yeah. Well, right then, Josh, last game of the season. What are we thinking, mate? Oh, would you take that? Yeah. yeah. Good man. Give us another villa. We're in. Um, decent stadium. Don't mind the Etihad today then. I don't know. The team's strange. Olsen starts in goal because Martinez wants to rest for an Argentina game next week. Not sure how I feel about that, but um, I, just, I just can't see. My heart's saying we'll get smashed 3-0, but in my head I'm going, yeah, we'll, we'll get a draw 1-1. I'll go 3-0 Man City. If we can hold it out, as long as we don't concede an early goal, we'll be all right. But I'm I'll go 3 0 Man City, but we can always hope. Jamie, it, can you give me some positivity? I, I'd love to give a bit of positivity today. Obviously, it's the last game of the season. Yeah. So looking, you know, who knows what they're going to turn up. Yeah, 100%. I think we'll score today. I hope so. Um, but I think it's going to be a pretty convincing Man City win, especially if they want to wrap up the league yeah. and how um, clinical they are going to be. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to go 3 0 Man City. Yeah, I'm going to
Come on, you better boys. Wolves are winning. Oh my God. Wolves are winning. How many minutes in? Three minutes. Three minutes in and Wolves are winning. Oh my word. Two minutes in, it's a, it's a little bit end to end. Man City have had a couple of chances, we're doing okay. We've had a couple of chances ourselves, but Man City just finding their rhythm. Another assist for you, Luca Dean. Come on, then. Oh. Chances that goal goes in, it just it lifts the confidence of everyone. We're pinging the ball about lovely and passing it around with no problems. Then we've shut De Bruyne out the game. What is going on? We've got a game, man. Right to be fair, we've shut them out. And we haven't really given up any chances. Worked really hard, and then Dean did a great cross. Luke and Dean, what a head of a play, coach. Brilliant. Um, Olsen's looked a little bit nervy, but since the goal, he's just got that confidence. But I don't know. City will start to panic. It's going to be a massive half. Still a big job to do, but come on. Come on, Annabella boys! Oh god, chance! Hey! Five minutes into the second half, they've had a couple of chances already. A little bit nervy. Callum Chambers has been absolutely unbelievable today. Big Chambers, man. <laughs>
What is going on? That, that was wild. Again, far too easy to be chucking away. Me, it means nothing to us, but these are like a mental mad. Still got the European Cup. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And to top it off, it's 3 1 Liverpool. So if we didn't capitulate, Liverpool would be winning the league. That is mad. Seconds away here. Uh, seconds away from Man City. What on earth is that? Look at these, look. <laughs> Jesus. Oh dear. Well, we'll be there next season, won't we, son? If we went somewhere and the team we were playing finished 14th, I probably wouldn't. Yeah, but do you know what? Celebrate. Yeah. Don't come to Villa Pants yeah, as yeah, yeah. Credit to them, but we Credit to them. The bigger picture is we have caved in. It's a capitulation. We have completely it. crumbled in. Liverpool did what they did. They're just, Liverpool why have just crumbled. Oh well. They've just crushed the goal. Crushed the goal. Class. <laughs> well, that didn't quite go to plan in the end, did it? I mean, it, it's probably too good to be true, going 2-0 up against Man City. Um, the Matty Cash goal is brilliant. Really, really good header. Luca Dean getting yet another assist. The Coutinho goal is class as well. It came from a goal kick, so like, none of us are really paying attention. Um, but the touch is sensational. The finish is so good as well. Like, just, It's just perfect. 2-0, you're in dreamland. Um, but as soon as they get the first and go and run and get the ball and... It livens the City fans up. You pretty much know what's going to happen. Um, it's disappointing. The first one, Cash is at the back stick. He gets caught out. The second one, it's a great finish. Olsen potentially could do a little bit better. Um, but it's a great finish. Fair play. The third one is very similar as well. I think it takes a nick off um, Tyro Mings at the back stick. And I can't remember who it was. But they were there to, to make it 3-2. And that was game over. Fair play, City. Won the league. I don't know why their fans came and celebrated in front of us. You've just won the league. Go and celebrate. Like, I don't know why they're coming in front of us. A little bit weird. But now, nah, fair play, City. Probably over the course of the season, they've been the, the best team. And they've deserved it. So, fair Fair play. Um, unfortunately for Liverpool, even if we'd got a point, they would have uh, won the league. So what can you do? They'll probably win the Champions League on Saturday anyway, so it won't, won't mean too much to them. That just sums up Aston Villa though, doesn't it? Far too inconsistent, not a 90 minute performance and that sums up the season coming 14th. I don't know. We'll go again next year. It looks like Bubakar Kamara is getting over the line um, from Marseille. Don't know all that too much about him, but I've heard he's decent, so that'll be good. But it's now time to take a rest. Thank you so much for the support on the channel this season. Been to every single Premier League game and all the Cup games apart from one. So thank you to all the support on the videos, all the comments, all the likes, all everything. has been so, so good this season. Keep an eye out over the summer as well. Plenty of content on the way. We're playing at Villa Park tomorrow as well, so there will be a video on that. It's going to be absolutely class. So uh, keep an eye out for all the content over the summer. Thank you for your support and I'll see you soon. Up the door.